Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ifeo Maya and Ifeo Luwa Washankaya. Hello. Hello. It's on time. I'm okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Well. Well. Yeah. Okay. Alive. Alive. I thank God. Okay. We're actually hoping you don't wear black. I, I yeah. Know you're not. <laughs> I have to build a light in the darkness. <laughs> okay. Make me son um, eight insects for $1,000. Make me challenge one of his sons to eat crickets and told the boy he would receive $1,000. Um, but um, I mean, the rapper himself was very much surprised when <laughs> he actually ate it. Mm. And uh, he put it up and was like, You guys should not call child services on me. Mind your business. So, would you eat? And they said for one thousand dollars. Of course, they will. Are you joking? Like <laughs> what they're doing you know. for? Don't you know that crickets are like um, a delicacy in this part of the world? I don't they're think he this was part of the world. Delicacy when he was eating that. There are people, yeah, there are people that actually crave crickets and all those um, mm. rain flies and stuff like that. And they actually put them they don't cook it on kebab sticks. They cook it, right? And they kind of roast it, but mm. some people chew it. as experience, yeah. Go so ahead. They, no, I don't eat it, but I know people I just people said you eat it. it. I said you have experience. <laughs> yes, no. I know a girl that was craving um, this, um, what's it called? The rain, I don't know what they're called now, but the rain insects, the ones that come during the rain and people, and then the roast it, and I had to take her somewhere to actually go get it. So there are people that actually crave this thing. So it's just out there that people are like, oh, it's weird. But out no, I think out there, they're even more diverse in the mm. things they eat mm. more so than think, we are I think here. It's, it's normal. Yeah, but this, it's like, you know, the it's difference raw. between, yeah, it's it's very unpleasant. It wasn't cooked or anything. And then he put it in his mouth. Um, I don't even think it was about the money. I feel like when you read it on the story, it looks like he literally had this whole thing where he brought money and said you must eat. I feel like the guy, the son was ready to eat it before he even heard the 1,000. Because well, if you watch the video and he was like, if you can eat this, well, it just went like that. Like, we won't fold the money. So I think he just has a really adventurous um, son. son. But when I was watching it, I don't know why, but coronavirus just came into my mind. Like, this is how it starts. Eating shit that you're not supposed to be eating. Yeah. Like, please, let's just not be eating things that are not properly done. Shit sex, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go on a quick break, but when we come back, we'll carry on our conversation. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. Across TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is Tilti Time on Plus TV Africa. Queen Elizabeth II's nephew um, is a divorced wife of more than 25 years. The queen was said to be saddened last night as um, she heard the news. Um, so they've been married for 25 years yeah. and they said this is an amicable decision. Mm. I don't know how you're married to someone for 25, 25 years, years and they want to like... <sighs> anyway. What do you say about um, Bezos and his wife? Who? I, f I said the same Amazon thing too. Guy. Oh yeah. I said the same thing too. Like I don't I don't know how it works, mm. but happiness is key regardless of how long you've been together. I don't think I think it's more than happiness if someone is divorcing for um, after twenty five years. Like you know what ha happiness is and you know what unhappiness. What is. if he has been unhappy for twenty five <coughs> years and he has just been sticking around because it's a royal? Well, so one of the reasons um, is it's because he, he travels a lot. Yeah. He's never around, and and I'm wondering. So it's her then. Maybe. Yeah. So what if she's not happy? You so enjoy you enjoyed. Let me use the word endure for twenty five years. Mm. <laughs> like you said, happiness. 
wow. I don't think he was busy. <laughs> okay, let's not exaggerate. I don't think he was busy all 25 years. I mean, you have the lovey-dovey phase. I mean, I'm sure they must have had good times. Um, maybe, like, we, I would think we talked about it yesterday when we are talking about the suicide, that she's just had something that she can't handle anymore. And maybe that's new in the relationship. Um, some people, it's infidelity. Like, they've been faithful, and then the 25th year, something happens, and the person cannot and won't take it and leave. So... So each man is own. Um, I'm just, I can imagine where Queen Elizabeth is coming from because this is the second, no, actually third. If, it, if you talk about like, I say scandals happening in the, um, oh, yeah. in the royal family. family. I, I, and I, I know people are a bit harsh about that, but sometimes it's not always, the world isn't perfect. Human beings are not perfect. There is this idea that, like as if no back then things are, were better because they stayed is a skewed ideology. Um, I don't think it's always very, it's always a bad thing to separate, um, especially if it's amicable and you know, it's on good terms and everything. The world evolves, we evolve, and I think that's, that's just natural. She'll, she'll be fine. Okay, so moving on to the next story, speed dancing process. I don't have a say. Let's <laughs> move on, Sha. If uh, you spoke first, actually. Huh? Yeah. I did not speak. Okay. <laughs> then you don't have a seat. I have more to say. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm not talking. <laughs> Moving on to the next story because I'm not his girlfriend. Speed Darlington promises to end food scarcity when he becomes president. See, we have a problem, have we? Speed Darlington that will end our food scarcity. So, well, anyway. Yeah, that's when, what he While said. he was eating a fat burger. Mm. 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 And he was telling us to end food, our food problem. It, watching him eat the burger was quite disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit much for me sometimes, honestly. I don't know how people can like consume his content on a daily. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need just a little of mm -hmm. spin dancing and I'm full. Well, please, just the two million naira water choice because I still see him wearing beads. Yeah, the good thing <gasps> for me is that he's back to his um, country. Let me put it that way. Mm. His country. Nigeria is nice. Huh? Please, 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 let's not wish him bad. He's fine where he is. Because, you know, all the whole, all the while we're hearing Speedy on Okada, Speedy on this, I was legit worried for him. I'm wondering, what's going on? Is mm. it, um, are you part of those that Trump has sent away or something? But I'm glad he's... Or to the not won the battle. And he cannot survive in Nigeria. Mm. Speedy Darlington is a free spirit. He he doesn't believe in show off. He doesn't believe in a certain type of lifestyle. Mm. He's the one that comes out to show me just tell you he does um, um, one of these ride hailing um, jobs in the he US. Come out on social media, we found out. And yeah, even when well, you he found out, it, he yeah. owned it. He was like, that's how he feeds. That's how mm. he survives. But a typical Nigerian mentality kind of person would not come out yeah. to do what he did. And yeah. he's owned it going forward. Everything he's doing, how he's hustling and not having enough. He's very open about it. Right here, he cannot survive. And even doing the kind of job he's doing over there here, mm. it's not the same um, pay that mm. he would get. So I think he's better off where he is because he's, he's someone who's ready to work and there are opportunities for I him. know. I shared with you guys um, his video. is um, more like his manifesto video about um, him becoming the president in 2020. What party is he... Um, with uh, right now, what political party? Oh, gosh. Akamu. Akamu. Mm. Is that registered? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the song. Oh, a song? <laughs> I said, what's the name of his political Akamu. party? That's the name of the party he wants it to be. Is there a party called no. Akamu? It's going to start it. When? He wants it hypothetical. Because you're saying that he wants to be president 2023, and if Right now, even the, the political parties that are there are being, <laughs> are being sent away and they're in court. And court. Okay, yesterday the court was saying that 31 of them should still be. No, sorry, it's not Akamu. PAP. PAP. Yoruba Akamu. Yoruba is not Akamu, that's Igbo. Oh, that's Igbo. Mm. Okay, but we call it Akamu. Ogi. Akam. It's Ogi. Okay, Ogi. Hey, you always said we I'm call a, it Akamu. I'm a sellout. I'm a sellout, <laughs> Yoruba boy. Yes. So it's PAP. PAP. Uh, and then they did a song Akamu to that or something like that. So, uh, I don't okay. know. but I just I just believe um Speed Darlington is a joke when it comes to um this um presidential. Some of you thought Trump was ambition. a joke. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> and, and Morrison in the UK, it's a trend now. The people mm. that you think are least qualified. But it can't happen in Nigeria. Right? Okay. It can't happen. Do you it think can, it can? It will you vote for? Where is he going to start from? I mean, if, he needs I, to start if I tell you, I'm going to I feel to like ours isn't just as comical, but we have jokes as yeah, president. Of course, definitely. But they're not just as comical as the American. Tell us one joke. Huh? One joke as a president. 
No, what I mean is, what I mean by comical is that, like, Trump, for example, you can laugh at his speeches, how he doesn't know what UAE represents or things like that, where they outrightly say things that are ridiculous. But you know Trump is I mean. actually a good person. Let's not even go into Trump, please. <laughs> um, and all of that stuff. I'm just saying that we also have jokes as president. We just don't have them comical, like, with the haircut and the speech and how Trump talks and all that. So that's what I mean. How does Trump talk? <sighs> Moving on to <laughs> the next story. Um... <laughs> I'm a slay queen and looking good is serious business. This is coming from Tokyo Makinwa as she slams naysayers. So from what I gathered, she had um, a speech. Is it a speech in a panel session at um, Harvard? And um, she was part of a panelist and she puts some parts of her conversation on her story and people were like, oh wow, I never knew that. Okay. According to her, which she didn't show screenshots. <laughs> we never, I mean, nobody, it's possible nobody fair said, enough, you know, enough, anything, yeah. but you know, you say, you have to be in the news. So she <laughs> said, they said that uh, we didn't, we did not see you as uh, that kind of person. You look more like a slay queen and blah, blah, blah. And she is saying that, I mean, slay queen and looking good is her business and that's, um, it's, it's her brand or how did she put it's good so business. It's good business. So that she will keep living her path, living her truth, being herself, and she doesn't care about what anybody says anymore. Hmm. Um, Go Toki. I just think Toki is um, living her best life, if you ask me. Hmm. I heard she's hmm. done the lip um, thing. Fillers. Yeah, lip hmm. fillers. Um, she's a businesswoman in all ramifications. Um, mm -hmm. She's what? In all ramifications. Yeah. Hmm. If you ask me, because okay. um, yeah, we asked you. Go ahead, go ahead. On. When I say ramification, <laughs> you can you can interpret that whichever way you want. You said but all ramifications. Yeah, you can. It's okay. Let, let, let's yeah, go, let, ahead, yeah. go ahead. You can interpret the all ramification whichever way you want, all but right. it's still a business. Um, and I totally. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally respect her grind. You feel me? Like um, she's the uh, typical example of you can't bring me down. You get and oh. she. Can Sorry, it was supposed to be in my head. Go on. Okay, you can't bring me down. And she keeps doing the thing, and um, whether you like it or not, she's winning. And that's one thing I respect about her. As long as you keep winning, I really don't care what people say about me. As long as I keep winning, and Tokyo okay, keeps winning. So How do you know that? Well, like, what are you basing that fact on? That she's winning. What's she winning? At, like what is it the funds because you don't know how bank account like what is it the funds yeah what what is she winning at Tokyo has a house of her own she lives comfortably she is she is a brand ambassador she she has different brands that she's working for oh. she's uh, making money she's uh um what's it called successful on her personality she's uh she, Tokyo is winning if you ask me, she has a vlog that has a lot of views. She's making money off YouTube. She's doing a lot of things that a lot of people can't or wish they could. So mm. she's winning, regardless of how you want to look at it. Unless you want to look at it from the hater's eye, which mm. I'm not a hater. On this particular thing, not in general. I'm not. I'm not a hater um, in general. Oh, he he actually has a crush on Tokyo. Oh, that's yeah. nice. No, she I used spec. to. Your type, you like you can still admit to having crushes even when you're in a relationship. I hope you know that. What? I'm just He's saying. <laughs> I'm He's a a so dear girlfriend, he, she loves you. I mean, he loves you. <laughs> you want to say something? Um, I, I'm just pulling at you. I have to agree with um, Ife on that as well. In, the, in, terms that, in terms of, you know, when I read the story, I actually thought about Paris Hilton. She's a very good example. I think our OG when it comes to Slay Queens, um, she w she has talked a lot, but people don't really tend to follow her or take her seriously. But she's done a lot of documentaries and interviews where you you would see how she actually built that image of the dumb mm. blonde, and she used it to build like, a whole entire empire. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a serious business, absolutely. So in looking nice, um, I think it's when you when you lose vision and you are just following somebody else's footsteps, that's when it can look like you're being a joke in this slay queen business. But if you're very um, deliberate about it, people are putting food on their table by looking nice and posing pretty and looking like she said like looking like a dumb blonde or well, we don't really have blondes in, in the, the black race but you know what I mean just that like that look and stuff but um, in, in I, I also know that um, Toke likes to um, will I say over like stretch I don't know how to explain it because I really have to 
also bounce on what you were saying about not ha not having many people who think like that. I don't think Toke actually has people who look at her and say that she's dumb. She's an author before the speech, mm -hmm. so it would be way. And she's always been on radio talking yes, about she's, political yeah, even, issues, yeah. lifestyle issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't sound even dumb her blog. Like you look at Paris Hilton, she never said say? anything. They don't sound dumb all the yeah, time. Yeah, she goes. No, she she talks dumb sometimes. So, of course. <laughs> no, but she still I, I don't goes agree in to something she says in a vlog. But the fact that you don't agree doesn't mean it's, it's dumb. dumb. Yes. Yeah, it's dumb to me. Okay. Well, well, I agree. I understand what you're trying to say because even with Paris, for example, even Kim before now, before this recent Kim, Kim back then when the you never saw her talk about anything deep. Um, it was just superficial stuff. But so I think it's always must been. everybody talk about something deep. You can just be fly, look good. Of course, you can be on the soft face. You can be on the soft face. Of course. And of course. Still what I'm saying smart. is that what I'm saying is that she's never even been that person mm -hmm. to say that we are expecting that. I don't know who is saying these things. I didn't. I went through her comments. I didn't see anything. But mm -hmm. it was on her story mm -hmm. anyway. Her yeah, her but head. I didn't. I didn't really. See, I didn't really see her as someone who's ever tried to just act blonde or on the surface. She always tries to go deep and really give you advice and talk about life and how to handle that. Advice you are allowed to mm -hmm. take another woman's husband and when, stuff. When did like she do? That? Yeah, there are times that she tell you that if you are dating a married man, you're not sure you are getting money. That that's, was from Messi Aigbe. No, no, before. I Messi feel like that's Aigbe. the opposite of what she stands no? for because I, I've, I've never to, heard Toke say always going anything about like that. Um, infidelity and like cheating and things oh, like that. Yeah, she, I think that's her, that, her yeah. opposite. Okay. So please don't misinterpret her or don't take her. I don't of misinterpret Toke. Don't worry. Toke is a Toke is a baby girl, like she said. She's a slave queen. I mean, she's a queen of baby girls, right? Yeah. Like she calls herself and. I have to say, I mean, I've said this before, though, but I will repeat it again. I admire her, her consistency. Like, mm. she's been on it. Toke is the only, I mean, I can say the only person that you would say she has a team for her outlook for the year. Like, she has a calendar for her outlook. She puts in a lot of effort. Everything you see on her page is it's calculated. Yeah. Yes. So, she knows what she do, she's doing. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants to get out of it. Yeah. Of course, sometimes when we look at what she does, I might cringe. Mm. But, I mean, as long as she's happy, as long as she's fine, as long as she's better than where she's coming from, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm good with when it. When I look at what she does, I look again. I don't cringe. And that's why I'm saying what you said she's winning because I feel like that's the opposite of what she she tries to preach. Like she, I, 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 I'm not a fan and I don't digest her content. But when I do, I see she tries to balance things out. I listen because it was a few a few weeks ago she was in the news about saying don't admire my life because mm -hmm. you don't know what's going on behind. So mm -hmm. it's not even the winning idea, the winning terminology. It's like in what aspects because mm -hmm. not, you can't win in everything. I'm not talking about the part that I know of. I'm talking about the part I can see and what I can see. She's obviously winning. Say that again. Sorry. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Go on. Rewind the tape if you want to hear that again. Legends don't speak twice. Sure. I was Thank going you. to say something, but it's okay. Because I thought he said, um, you, I, I, I know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about what I know, but what I know, it's just like, uh, okay, like a tautology or said, something. I mean, I'm not going to repeat what he said, but it's fine. That's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Um, we're supposed to talk about um, Pastor Deboe's comments, but I'm sure we'll get to that in the next episode. So stay tuned to Tea Time. To Tea Time, and thank you for watching this particular episode. To catch up on this, if you're just joining, please visit our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa, and go ahead and click the subscribe button. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and London on Brain Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shonkaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.